Yo, 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 it's your boy Wes the Tech here to bring you another one of my personal favorite tech tips to help you as an artist run your craft. Now, today we're going to go over how to register for your title songwriter's profile, all right? So if you're a recording artist who's currently distributing your music to title, then this is the perfect video for you because in this video, I'm going to be explaining Tidal's new songwriter tool that is available to anybody who is distributing their music through them, all right? Now, before I continue, I definitely wanna let you guys know about my free music business checklist tool that's available to download off of my website right now. This is for any one of you guys who's looking into starting your own music business but don't quite know where to start. With this free tool, you'll be able to identify three things that you can do right away to start your own music business. So if you want to grab that free tool today, you can click on the link above. I'll also leave the link in the descriptions below, all right? Now, when it comes to Tidal as a, a, a DSP, a digital service provider, you know, it's one of those platforms that work just like Spotify and Apple Music, where certain people can actually sign up for Tidal and be able to stream unlimited music, all right? But what Tidal has recently created for us as artists is a new songwriter tool right with this new tool you'll actually be able to understand and figure out your songwriting royalties better all right now recently they just had a whole webinar for it and everything like that and i actually was in it in attendance for it right and i gotta tell you guys this tool is absolutely dope because again it's something that could really help you understand what you're supposed to do with your um royalties when it comes to your songwriting royalties as well as how to split them between different artists and things like that all right but to start off with you actually have to register or claim your songwriter profile all right now a profile is available again to anybody who is actually distributing your music to title as long as you're distributing your music to title and you already have and you already have access to your title for artist account then you will actually be able to claim your um title songwriter profile all right now in this video i'm going to show you how to register for it but i but before i do that i definitely want to explain what it does a little bit more essentially what they do is they link your title um for artist profile with your performing rights organization all right now your performing rights organization is the people who actually collect your songwriting royalties right and the royalties for any other songwriters that may be on the song so what Tidal was able to do is create a tool that you can link your performing rights organization to Tidal, right? And you will be able to do splits and do all of these different things within Tidal for Artists from the Tidal for Artists account that you would normally need to find somewhere else to do it with all right so it's a great tool to use and i think it's something that can come in handy especially when you're dealing with splits and all of these different things like that all right but first and foremost you got to know how to register for all right so to begin with before i continue i always like to tell you guys when it comes to um these tutorials i always do it on a desktop or a laptop computer all right a lot of times when you're trying to do this stuff on a mobile Mobile phone you may not have the same access to everything because a lot of times these websites the mobile version of the website may not be laid out the same way or maybe even have all the same options so when you're dealing with stuff like this you always want to do it on a desktop or a laptop computer that way you could really make sure that you're seeing everything you're supposed to be seeing for the purpose of this video I'm actually going to be doing it on a desktop computer so the first thing that you want to do is you want to log in to your title for artist account if you haven't done that yet as an artist then you got to click on the link above and watch the video i did prior showing you how to get access to your title for artist account because you have to do that first once you do that and you're, you're registered and you're logged in the next thing that you want to do is simply just click on the link above all right that link will bring you straight to this page right here i'll also leave that link in the descriptions of the video from this page all you essentially need to do is scroll down and you want to click on sign up all right once you click on sign up it should bring you to your profile page where you will see your name right it'll bring you to the home page of your profile but what you will also notice on the bottom right hand corner is something that is letting you know 
to claim your songwriter profile, all right? So what you wanna do from here is, you wanna go ahead and click claim, right? Then from there, it's going to bring you to this page where you wanna search a song. And essentially what you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna wanna search one of your releases, right? Because they wanna find the songwriter that you're referring to. So in this case, for my instance, I just search feeling like David because it's my most notable song. Nobody else has that song name and things like that. So once I did that, it came up right away. All right, then from that point, you just gotta click on the song. From this point, it should bring you to this page here where it's going to ask you to add your performing rights organization. Remember guys, your PRO is the people who actually collect your songwriting royalties, all right? For your public performances, they are the ones who collect your songwriting royalties. So you need to be able to link your PRO to this title songwriter account in order for you to access all the dope benefits of the tool. So not only do you have to have a title for artists, but you guys gotta make sure that you are with a performing rights organization and that your music is registered with a performing rights organization, all right? Now, if you haven't done that yet and you don't know what a PRO is outside of what I just told you, then click on the link above, watch the video that I have explaining PROs, and then you can come back to this video because you gotta register for it, all right? So for my case, I have BMI. So all I did was click on BMI. Once I clicked on BMI, right? Now for you guys, it might be ASCAP, all right? It might be CSAT, whichever PRO you have. By the way, this tool is only available for those of you who are in the US currently, all right? I don't know if they're gonna um, bring it to the rest of the world yet, but as of right now, it's only in the US. And honestly, guys, it kind of makes sense because it's probably gonna take longer to get the rest of the world involved because every country has their own PRO, right? The U.S., we have our specific ones. Canada have their own. You know, um, South America has their own. Africa have their own. So they're probably just making sure that it's right for the U.S. first, and then maybe they'll go on to all of the different places. But currently speaking, this is only for those of you who are living in the U.S. that you'll actually be able to access this tool, all right? But once you pick your performing rights organization, from this point, they're actually going to ask for the PRO information. Right now, of course, you're going to get this warning screen that that's just going to let you know that they're only going to get the information for the purpose of the tool and this, that, and the third. Once you go over that, you just hit got it. And then from that point, you're going to go ahead and put in the information. Of course, they're going to need your full legal name. They're also going to need your IPI number, which is given to you by your PRO which is why I said you have to be registered with one before you continue this process, right? So you put in your IPI number, then what you're actually going to also have to do is upload a royalty statement from your performing rights organization, all right? And that's very, very easy to do, all right? Whether you have BMI or ASCAP or USCSAT, all you gotta do is get um, the download the PDF file for it to, um, um, to download the PDF file of your statement, then all you gotta do from that point is just upload it to this screen, all right? Once you upload it, you check those two boxes on the bottom, then from that point, all you gotta do is hit um, confirm and continue, all right? Now, from this point, it'll then um, give you this screen right here where they're gonna let you know that it has to go under review and it's going to be part of the review process, all right? Now, you're going to get an email, that email letting you know that it's gonna be a part of the review process and you have to wait for it, um, the process to be approved once it's approved you will then have access to your title songwriter profile and you will then also have access to all the tools that's involved with that all right now as of right now currently I'm still in the review process but I'm hoping that by next week I do get approved and if I do get approved, I'll check out the tools. I'll check it out for myself. And if it's if it's worth everything that they're saying it is, then I will actually make another video on how to use the tools, on how to access all the different tools that they have, part of the songwriting profile, all right? But I can tell you from firsthand experience at least that 
when I watched the we webinar about this, when they were explaining it, I do feel like it is a helpful feature, especially for those of you who have trouble understanding um, royalties when it comes to songwriting royalties, who gets paid out for it, how do you split it, all of those different things that can, this um, title tool can definitely help you out. But they can only help you when it comes to your PRO royalties, your songwriting royalties. If you are an artist who, have, who is having trouble just understanding royalties in general, not just your performing rights organization royalties, but the royalties that come in all of the other places as well, then I strongly, strongly urge you guys to grab my royalty handbook, all right? It is a handbook that I created for independent artists out there to understand all of the different places that they can collect their royalties from and where they have to register to get those royalties, all right? For those of you who may not know, there's six different places that, or there's six different types of royalties that you can collect as an independent artist, all right? Each one of those um, different types of royalties, they have a different organization that helps you collect them, all right? If you don't know what those organizations are, if you don't know what those six different types of royalties are, then you must get this royalty handbook because that also means that you are also missing out on royalty income, all right? Meaning that you're shooting yourself in the foot because you, you're not getting all the money that you deserve for each and every single one of your streams. Again, there's six different music royalty payouts that is, that is, um, that is given to you when your music is being streamed in all of these different places. But you need to know how to, where to register and you need to know how to collect them, all right? PRO is one of the different places that you have to register for in order to get some royalties. And of course, that's for your songwriting royalties and your publishing royalties, which I explained further in my handbook. This title tool helps you out specifically for the songwriters portion. But if you need help for all of the different royalties and figuring out all that whole mess, I urge you, click on the link above, grab that royalty handbook, read it from beginning to end, and I'm, I promise you, you will understand it once you have given it a full read, all right? I'll also leave a link to that handbook in my descriptions below for those of you who are just watching, all right? But that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you actually register for the title um, songwriter profile that once you're registered again, you will be able to access the tools that you need in order to figure out your songwriting royalties, how to do the splits and everything like that. All right. But you have to register first. And I hope that this video was a big help in that process. All right. Now, before I let you go, I definitely want to let you guys know about my music um, book here, the um, 13 steps to jumpstart your music business. This is for any one of you guys who's looking into starting your own music business. You're tired of that nine to five job and you just want to do music full time. I've been doing music full time for years now. I absolutely love it. And I absolutely want the same thing for every single independent artist who watches my channel. But in order for you to get in the position to leave that nine to five job, there are some important steps that you need to follow and you need to make sure that you do the right way. All right. This book here will show you all of those 13 steps. I have it in ebook form. I also have it in paperback form. So grab that when you guys get a chance. All right. I promise you it's worth the buy because again, it's going to put you in a position to leave your nine to five job so that you never have to work for anybody again and you can just live your life doing music full time all right but that's pretty much it guys that's what this video was about of course if you guys have any additional questions or concerns in regards to anything you can leave um comments in the comment section below whether it's about title so the, the new title songwriter tool or anything else in music industry related please leave comments in the comment section below again i may or may not drop a video next week in regards to the tools all right it all depends on after i look at it and things uh, and things of that nature but i can assure you that for some of you guys out there it absolutely will be helpful all right guys but that's pretty much it i hope that this video helped and i'll see you guys next week peace
Nobody 